All right, thank you for staying with us. It's still uh, sports tonight. And uh, let me just uh, quickly um, introduce to you my partners. They will be with me uh, for the rest of the show. I want to start from my immediate right, Cosmos Chukemeka. Um, good to have you on uh, sports tonight, this, yep. uh, this Tuesday. Yeah, good evening, um, Tony. It's good to be back on the show. Mm, and of course, uh, the man to the far right is Gentleman Yemi Adibayo. Yemi, good to have you as well on, on, on sports tonight. It was a pleasure, Tony. Mm. Let's, let's start, yeah. off, let's start off from, from where we just stopped now. We have a Champions League game is currently going on. Mm. 78 minutes of football, Bayern 2, Atletico Madrid 1. Um, Yemi, let me start with you. The way it is, the next goal will be very, very crucial. If the next goal uh, goes to Bayern, uh, it puts them um, into the final. If it stays this way, Atletico Madrid are going through. If Atletico score, the almost next goal is almost done deal that they are going to be in the final. I mean, I have some, some sympathy for Bayern uh, with the way they play the first leg and the way they are playing today. They, 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 they've already lost the penalty. They probably um, would, have been would have been in daylight a comfortable, now. comfortable position. But I, I love the way the second goal um, came in. I love the way they've played. And, you know, if, if you're a purist, if you're a lover of the game, uh, if you see football as an heart, you would love Bayern to go through because it seems to me that um, the guys from Spain are just ready to frustrate um, the Bavarians and just sit back <laughs> and you know if there's anything worse than packing a bus that's what they're just doing right now but but we'll see how it all pans out mm -hmm. if Atletico gets a goal then then it's over because I don't see Bayern getting um, two more two more mm -hmm. well with mm -hmm. the time left but uh, there's a lot of time um, yeah. Cosmos a lot can happen in football we've there's seen stranger things happen mm -hmm. they were even in a worse situation uh, to this when they were playing against Juventus. Juventus. I'm talking about Bayern, but they yeah. were able to pull it off. Yeah. Um, so there's still a lot that can happen in this game. Uh, but then, Yemi says, Atletico Madrid were packing the bus, but they've scored a goal mm. already. They scored and they scored already. another one in the first leg, and they have the away goal. So on, on, the, on the strength of the two games, um, on average, you still think Atletico Madrid have been the better side. Well, uh, Not with uh, ball possession, but with... The goals that they've been able to score. And you know Atletico Madrid are probably the best. Um, the, they have the best defense in the UEFA Champions League this season. Consider them less goals um, than um, some other teams. So um, basically you, you, you have a team that uh, uh, they know what it takes to get to the final. They have done it before and they are actually doing better than what they were doing before. So they've got that away goal um, advantage and it would really help them. I mean Antonio Griezmann actually got that goal. A well taking goal. Mm. It was a good goal too. But then you have to look at Bayern Munich. Um, Guardiola making some changes, bringing in uh, uh, Thomas Muller back into the starting eleven. And of course, the defenders were back. Vuateng is back and some uh, other players are back. They actually played well. Um, that goal by Alonso in the 30th minute was like, okay, an high opener then. They got a penalty on a platter of gold, but then Muller, God knows what he was thinking, actually lost that penalty. Mm. And uh, before you know it, Antonio Green man in the second half just came and with a crucial away goal crucial away goal even when Bayern Munich had to score Robert Lewandowski scoring um, some few minutes ago, it still shows that, the, uh, that uh, at that Arians Arena, everybody is sitting on the edge of their seats because they know that any mistake by their defenders, then of course, um, Atletico Madrid would take it and they would score. So they're trying as much as possible to score. Fine, they're packing the balls and or Atletico Madrid are packing the balls and nobody. There's something I like to say. Bayern Munich has that ability to score. They they can score goals, but it has to do with a bit of luck. Mm. So if they can be a bit lucky and they take their chances, then maybe uh, they will be able to get to the finals. Remember, Guardiola will be judged not because of winning all of the Bundesliga titles since it got to the Germany. Domestic it's domestic leagues, the domestic titles. The domestic it's how titles. well you're able to deliver. Basically, Europe. he will be judged by his performance in Europe. I mean, if they crash out, this will be the third consecutive mm. year that they will crash out in the semi-finals to Spanish teams. So, um, he doesn't want to do that against Atletico Madrid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's just a victim of his own high standards. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it is. But guys, we'll, we'll pause a little bit on... on um, um, the Champions League. Let's come quickly to our own uh, football and uh, let's start by taking you quickly to Anambra uh, for a long time. You remember on this show, we gave you the story, the inside story of what has been going on uh, in the Anambra State uh, Football Association. Um, the crisis that rocked the Football Association in Anambra State that led to the Nigerian Football Federation setting up a normalization committee, so to say. Um, but today, it looks like maybe 
uh, the cracks are over, the troubles are over. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, because today, um, the Anambra State Football Association have a new chairman. Um, I mean, we're talking about uh, the uh, proprietor of uh, Ifan Yuba FC, uh, Dr. Ifan Yuba, has emerged as the chairman of the Anambra State Football Association. That's the um, story coming out of uh, Orca, the Anambra State Capital today. Uh, but are all the stakeholders involved happy uh, or satisfied with uh, the emergence of uh, Ifan Yuba as the chairman of the Anambra FA? Time will tell, the yeah. days ahead will, will, will help us um, get a hold mm. um, of, uh, of, of, all, of uh, all of that. But the story coming out is that he won the election today. Um, we're told by the Nigerian Football Federation that uh, he pulled 24 votes. Um, all the 24 votes at stake went to him. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so he pulled all 24. And uh, Barrister Jude Obikwelu has emerged as the second, as the vice president, vice chairman uh, of the Anambra FA, and uh, some other uh, board members were also elected. But let's quickly take you to um, Anambra now, um, or maybe Enugu, and um, uh, get you uh, talking to Chidi of Four Okenwa, who is the appeals committee chairman of the Anambra FA elect electoral um, committee. Um, is on to us uh, on the line now. So let's quickly get to him. Um, Chidi Ofo, let me start by, do I congratulate you? Because I know that this has been on for a very, very long time. At last, elections have held in Enugu, and you have a chairman. What can you tell us, uh, Chidi? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I actually was there to observe in my capacity as the chairman of Enugu State Football Association. And we had a couple of other chairmen from the southeast, we had uh, in attendance the chairman of the Boy State Football Association, a distinguished senator Odinoga, who attended in his capacity as the chairman of the Boy State Football Association. Uh, of course, if you make a dual capacity, who is the chairman of the State Football Association. And uh, the weather was very clement, uh, a situation where we had all the delegates, the real delegates, certified delegates, duly elected delegates. Uh, in the local government uh, football council election of the other day. Uh, if you say controversy, I wouldn't know what you mean, but if what you mean is what I mean, the atmosphere was very clement. It was uh, devoid of any form of uh, uh, violence. It was devoid of any form of rancor. Uh, the people there were in their very element. Uh, they had their say, uh, but they had their way in their votes. Most but importantly... The people, if you look at the number of people that came, uh, Anambra State Football Association, by my calculation, have 26 delegates to the state ESCO election or the state congress, and 24 were present. And if 24 were present, and somebody is saying there was no information, it is my imagination, actually. But to the best of my knowledge, somebody like me, I was informed, that the election, people were talking about purported election on Wednesday. True, by every ramification. But what transpired in the course of the local government election gave the third leg to the Nigerian Football Federation transmitting a letter to the Electoral Committee, which I'm not a member of, to ensure that the need to be done. Because a first major has already been declared in that very election. If you look at what transpired in the last Rangers match, of course, there was a first major. 